Good morning and uh, shalom. This is uh, be part two of our new uh, teaching that we're doing on uh, how we know that the Creator's name is Yahuwah or pronounced as Yahuwah and not Yahweh. Uh, and if you haven't listened to part one, please go back and l listen to that uh, because I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time just reviewing what we had, had shared in part one, but I do. I will mention a few aspects of that. But uh, I'm doing this because someone had asked me this question on my YouTube channel, asking why or how do we know for sure that his name, the Creator's name, is pronounced as Yahuwah and not Yahweh. So we're going to share uh, a number of sessions about this and try to help those that are, you know, just beginning to learn Hebrew. And um, as I mentioned in in my past sessions, that when I started studying uh, the Hebrew language about six years ago and understanding that our Creator name had been removed from all our English text approximately 7,000 times <laughs> which uh, that very much disturbed me because I could not understand why and of course if, if you as you begin to study this you'll understand that uh, it's happened because of man's tradition uh, Yahuwah always wanted his name to be remembered in fact he even said that in Exodus chapter 3 verses 15 and 16 when he gave Moses, or Masha, that's Moses' name, uh, he told him that he this was his name forever. And this was his memorial unto all generations. Or this is the name that he was to be remembered by throughout every generation. And of course that generation would include the one that we live in today. So that's the reason that th his name is important. It's, an, it's, an, it's the reason why his name, uh, how we pronounce his name is important. And uh, so that's why we're, sh we're sharing these sessions. And I understand that most people don't understand Hebrew. Most people have not. I did not even understand Hebrew until about six years ago. I'm a, I'm a Gentile who had become a uh, believer in the, the Jewish Messiah many years ago. And, um, but because of that, um, you know, I think it's just amazing that, you, and it's probably the, a good thing, and the, and the fact is that as I began to study Hebrew, I began to understand that if I had been brought up a Jew or a Yahudi, that uh, you know that I would probably be bound by a lot of tradition, uh, and, and and as far as thinking that Hebrew today is the what is the same Hebrew they spoke back when the Mashiach walked on the earth. Now a lot of it is the same, but a lot of it's been been corrupted with uh, Aramaic, and it's also been. Uh, changed by the uh, vowel pointing system that they've added throughout the the uh, ch changing the way that names were pronounced in the Tanakh in the New Testament uh, in fact you know Hebrew tradition um, says that it's you know that the creator's name is not to be pronounced um, that if you do it's it's referred to as being blasphemy because you're taking the name of the creator in vain which is totally inaccurate, it's totally in error, it's totally against what Yahuwah has de declared. In fact, he has instructed us and told us to, to proclaim his name, to let others know about his name. And so, uh, when you understand that the reason why that in our English text that the name of the Creator has been replaced or edited out of our scriptures is because of tradition of men. Because the Jewish tradition that they started even before the Messiah came on the earth, they have made it a tradition or that if anyone spoke the name of the Creator, they would be guilty of blaspheme and be guilty of death. And in fact, that's really the reason that they, they gave for, for crucifying the Mashiach was they accused him of blaspheme, which was pronouncing the name of the Creator. And, but... You know, once you understand that and have that basic foundation that that's what's happened to our translations that we have today, is that the word uh, or the name of the Creator, being Yahuwah, has been replaced with our English word Lord. Of course, in Hebrew, they use the word Adonai, or they refer to Him as Hashem, which in English that means the name. <laughs> How would you like to be called the name? You know, I'm sure that, you know, you understand that our Creator is not pleased with this whatsoever because His name has been hidden uh, and there's, there's been tremendous repercussions of this 
uh, far beyond that you anything that you you and I can even comprehend. Because if the, if he, if you don't if you understand that you uh, mankind was not to tamper with his with his name, and in fact it, really that's what taking his name in vain is all about. They have that because the word vain in Hebrew actually means uh, to make desolate, to uh, to falsify, and actually that's what they've done. They falsified the name of the Creator by telling you and I in our translations that his name is the Lord, and that's not accurate. His name is Yahuwah. And his name is to be made known. His name is to be called upon. We're to love his name. We're to give honor to his name. We're to revere his name. We are to praise his name. There's so many aspects about the name of the Creator that's been corrupted because of man's tradition. And so I'm ex helping to expose that tradition to help you to understand the importance of his name. And, and that's why we want to pronounce his name correctly. So... With that said, I want, to, I want to focus in on a few things that I've written on my board here. First of all, the Hebrew letters, and by the way, this is the modern Hebrew script that I've written, used here. And, uh, the, the, uh, and we'll go in our few further sessions about the ancient Paleo-Hebrew script and talk about the difference between the both. But basically, you know, if you don't add what, what has happened to the language is by changing pronunciation of words or letters of these words, by adding vowel points. We'll talk about that more in some upcoming sessions, but I don't want to confuse those that have no really basic understanding of that right now, except for the fact is that these two letters, without uh, corrupting them and changing the way these, work, these letters are pronounced, the Yod, this is the letter Yod, and the sec letter, second letter of the Creator's name is a Ha. In modern Hebrew, they pronounce it as a He. But again, uh, in the way it was originally pronounced, and, we, and I'm going to show you why we know that that's for sure the way it was originally pronounced, the y Yod and the He gives us the pronunciation of Yah. Now, Yah is found in the phrase Halal U Yah, a phrase that's at least 4,000 years old or older. And uh, that phrase, Halal U Yah, is pronounced the same in any, any language throughout the whole world. They do not pronounce it any other way but a halal u ya. Now they may spell it with a J, but they still pronounce it halal u ya. And that means praise unto Yahuwah. And so, you know, even our Creator uh, has given us witness that his, the first part of his name is pronounced ya and not ye. That's why his name cannot be pronounced as Yehovah. And, uh, and of course, Yahudi is not Yehudi, it's Yahudi. So, uh, now the, sec the third letter, the, this is where the, the, the uh, real confusion comes in as far as pronouncing. It's also a way of proving that the Creator's name is pronounced as Yahuwah and not Yahweh. When you understand that the first three letters, the Yod, the He, and then the third letter, which is the sixth letter of the Hebrew alphabet, is pronounced here as U. It has an U sound. Now, it does not have a W sound or a V. Now, in modern Hebrew... They use vowel points around this third letter to change the way it's pronounced. And that's where you would get, you know, the, the W sound if you vowel point it a certain way, or if you uh, or you get the V sound if you pronounce or if you use a certain vowel points around that letter to change the way it's pronounced. But if you want to know the most, the accurate way to pronounce the creator's name, you have to understand that there were no vowel points originally. That was added by man, and it's, act, it's actually done corruption to the Creator's name. So we don't want to do that. We don't want to falsify His name. We want the most accurate pronunciation of the Creator's name, and in order for you to have confidence in using His name, once you understand that, then you will have the confidence you need to proclaim the Creator's name. So this word, and we're going to get into this, I'm not going to have too much more time in this session to go into this, but in our next one, part three, we'll talk about more about the words that prove that Yahuwah, or the Yahoo part, is uh, without a shadow of a doubt the way that these letters, or this third letter was pronounced, and not with a, D, a W sound or a V sound. So listen up for part number three. Thank you again for sharing this. Please put it on Facebook or share it with your friends on Facebook. And, uh, and also encourage your friends to subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
Um, we're getting close to a thousand subscribers on my channel, so uh, uh, you know I just uh, thank you, Hood, that uh, he's using me, and that I can be a help to others and helping them to learn more about the Hebrew language and about the name of our Creator, Yahuwah. Until next time, Shalom.